hi guys hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel this is mary imano and if today is first time you're coming across to this channel you are highly welcome on this channel i talk about food lifestyle politics vlog i do most of everything on this channel so if you want to be part of this family please go ahead and subscribe when you subscribe click the notification bell so that you miss any of my video so guys today's video let's go straight to the point of today's video so i don't want to waste waste much of your time so we'll be talking about so today's video guys i will be talking about five things that most of african parents they normally do this mistake more especially parents who are living in diaspora yes they normally make this this mistake and it's things that they need to amend yes so number one thing most of african parents or some of african parents normally do first of all they fail to teach their kids their language yes their mother tongue I have seen a lot of them you know it's not you know let me say let me put it this way your language have to come first in your child in your children's life that that when they are still growing up you know if you want to talk to them you have to speak your language to them so that it will it will you and your children will have that communication that internal communication more especially when you guys are outside of the house or maybe in the supermarket or any or any place at all but when you don't have that communication with your child in a language that both of you understand or can speak is it's not a good idea let me talk to you because there's some privacy that there's things that should be private between you and your family but whereby that your child don't speak your language so how can you talk to your child or how can the child talk to you in public so with this parents need to teach their children their language and that's the first thing that sh your child must learn before any other language it's not that for example people are in germany you you, you when your child start start talking he will learn all all the language that you he, she or child will start learning will be, lang, be will be german no when they go to kindergarten or school let them learn dutch there but when they come back home let them do what let them speak the language that will give you that will give um let me put it this way that will give the chance the chance that you and your child will need to communicate well so that is number one then number two fail to teach their children their culture yes their culture i mean where you come from how things is going in how the things that you practice in your land or in your country where you come from that you have your culture you have your tradition so it's your own duty as a parent to teach your children what they should know or what they need to know about your culture let them talk into their brain that this is what my parent this, this is what we have our as our culture in back home so as a parents you need to teach your children all these things that will make them to know more about you and your culture as a parents you see so number three let's go to number three number three some parents fail to tell to differentiate to teach them to children the difference between western life and also african life yes there's a lot of difference there's a lot of difference between western life and african life we are an african i know we african there is that we have this uh, let me say we need to protect um uh, portray how can i put it we need to take what our parents have imparted into us we have to use those things to do what to bring up our children yes it's very necessary in western world 
in western world you guys know how their kids behave and all that yes it's their system it's not the fault of the parents let me put it that way but it's the is the is the fault of the government so but we africa we don't have that kind of the government we train our child the way that when the child grow up it will be useful for us so that is where we have to differentiate ourselves be the mentality of of um, of western life and also an african life so number four i will be talking about phone yes i say parents and i not say that you should not give your child phone no, I did not say that. For example, maybe when the child is still growing up for like two years, yes, one year, the child will be playing with the phone, playing and watching cartoon and all that. Yes, but once the child has started, let me say six years, he, he, he or she is not preparing to school. You see? So, is that and that you need to draw everything? You, you, you just minimize or draw that how you give your child phone you see so that all her memory will not go and stuck in the phone maybe the thing that the child need to watch or the game or any other thing you see but let or, or any other thing but let him put his concentration into his book or into his study you see that will help that child a lot and you as a parents you have this duty for you to do as a parents when you give your child phone, try to also monitor what your, what your child are uh, watching in that phone. This is new generation. <laughs> this is new generation, or what will I call it? You know, children of this nowadays they have that computer brain. They need they, they see things. So as a parent, you need to put your eyes what your child is doing in that phone that you are giving that child. You see. Once that child is sees like I said, draw, I mean, draw it, draw the phone, draw it back, not like the way you are giving the child the phone before, you see, not like that time. After all, doing our own time, we don't even know what is phone. We don't even know what is phone, you see. So you as a parent, now that the world, ha the world is changing, yes, let me put it that way, the world is changing. So try to work things that will be that will be okay with you and your family you and your children okay let's now let's talk about five number five things okay let them know how you you as a parent started life yes as you are as your children are growing up in a stage that they need to they they have reached this stage that they need to understand this life or how this like or how you started how you as a parent started your life you need to teach your children all these things let them know that this life is not easy let them know that there are things they need to do in this life and things they don't need to do in this life this is very important for example difficulty yes in terms of the good tell let them know how things that things are difficult in this life that they that they are today enjoying is your own suffer what you have suffered for let them know about it so that it will stuck into their brain and also let them know maybe for example you know some kids some children will give them food to eat instead for them to eat that food they will be playing with the food and you when you look at them you feel good or for example, more especially if you come from a poor background, you see, you will just look at look at what these children are doing for, and also that will make you to remember the past or remember the children who are back home who don't have that opportunity to enjoy all those things your children are enjoying. So let them know that that there are a lot of children back home that they don't have this opportunity, so they don't have to play with food. If they if you give them food. Let them eat. They don't have to play with the food because people, there's a lot of people who are suffering, who are, who, who are back there suffering. I hope you guys understand me. So, it's very, very important that 
most that that parents need to teach their children all these things is very very important very 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 important more especially that language oh god that communication is 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 most important in your in your life and your child life because you need to have that communication with you and your child more especially in outside now let me talk to you for example maybe you went out or you go out with your with your with your daughter or with your any or your children Maybe in supermarket, you know how the how children they always normally do. Maybe when they see this mommy, for uh, mommy go tenka, mommy buy this for mommy go tenka, mommy at your monka, mommy biko go tenka. You see, and you know that you, you 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 as a parent you have budget what you want. This is what you want to buy, and you don't want to make make more than these expenses. So. It's your duty in your own language. You know, you, you, you are in the public. You don't need to shout at your child. No, but you need to use that language that they will understand to talk to them and tell them, no, this is not what I want. To, I came here to buy. And those things that you are pointing at me for me to buy for you, it's not you. it will not be useful for you. If only I will buy things, I will buy things that will be useful because when you look at all those things that the, the children are pointing out, you see that, that all those things that are not even will not be even useful to them you see you, you know children they always put their eyes the things that is not useful because they don't understand this life you see but it's your own duty for you to talk to them in a language that they will understand not for you to bring out everything in public maybe for example uh -huh, vast, and all that no talk to her for example you see her name oburi biko oburi hakai biko te inugo i know nilo if that kind of language you speak to them i will take it for i will, I will use my children for example hmm. my children they speak Igbo. in fact they speak Igbo more than people who are in the back home they even speak they even write yes it's the work of we as a parents it's work we did we do so we need to work on it and you as a parent need to whenever you want to speak to your child speak that language to you to your child so that they will understand this so that they can be able to to talk so with all this with all these things i have mentioned you know the, that that is little little mistake or like a little little mistake that some of parents do but they need to amend it because it's very very important to amend i have seen a lot of it so that is why i brought it here on my youtube for me to talk to my people out there so if when you if you get this message all you have to do is for you to share it out don't just listen alone okay share it out to others let others get this message so i have come to the end of this video i have other video i have others to talk about but that will be another day so if you are yet to subscribe to my channel then what are you still waiting for <laughs> what are you still waiting for subscribe to this family so that you'll be part of my family guys okay subscribe when you subscribe click the notification bell also so that you won't miss any of my video it's very very important because if you don't click that, that notification bell whenever I upload any video you won't, you won't get notified you see so that is the most important click notification subscribe share out comment so i have come to the end of the video i will see you in my next video bye bye